So we're here at the Langton Green Community Farm. We established the farm five years ago uh, as an attempt to find ongoing meaningful work opportunities for the folks that we serve with intellectual disabilities. I come here every day and I put a smile on just, just because I'm happy. It's pretty easy to see the effect that nature and working with animals can have on them and especially with something like a sensory garden or just working with creatures can really be soothing and, and comforting and not only that but working on the farm itself really gives them a sense of purpose. They're actually working real meaningful jobs. They're not going to a, a, a workshop and, and kind of arranging jars or, or repacking boxes. It, it's actual physical work that, that has some meaning and purpose. When a lot of the individuals we support are used to being taken care of, the roles are reversed here where they have that empowerment and that power because they're taking care of somebody. And it's, it's, it's great to watch. It's, it's a joy to watch. It's great because it's so special because we could say we did this all together, get along real well. We're a great team. So, you know, kind of anything that we can make a connection with, we have kids from Arlington Echo and Ruth Easton School coming out and doing vocational training and some agricultural programming. So it, it's given us an opportunity to show the next generation of kids coming up that you know, just because someone has disabilities doesn't necessarily mean that they can't contribute. So I've seen um, with a few individuals definitely their leadership skills grow. What they're doing is you know seeing something from start to finish and it's them that's doing it. So, you know, from when they plant the seed and then they transplant it and then they put it into the ground, they're getting the fruit that the plant is bearing. So they did that, and I think that is very meaningful to them. Right now, most of the produce that we're harvesting here is going directly to our homes. We've been working with uh, the Lighthouse Shelter in Annapolis as one of our partners, so we've been donating most of our excess there. There's something about being in nature and being around the animals. They kind of have an effect on you. Our guys who have probably some of the most significant behavioral histories have just shined with a different way of thinking as they're, they're figuring out how to approach these animals and kind of trying to be more, a little bit more empathetic in, in their interactions with one another. Ever seen a rooster let you do that? Love him. He's my baby. We have a lot of cool and fun events going on, so. Right now we're doing um, monthly calendars, so every week I'm gonna have something going on. Um, this past month, for example, we had um, Silky Chicken 101, uh, Silky Chicken Yoga with Diana. Um, we had paint days where people come and help us paint things for the Nature Sacred Garden. The response from, from the, the bigger community, our families, our staff, has just been amazing. There are, we have people that come out on the weekends, our other residential staff, that'll come out on picnics and, and just they can't believe every time they come out something has changed or there's something new. And the funding covers our staff salaries, vehicles, they keep the lights on and the structures. But beyond that, we're doing a lot of grant writing, we're looking for ongoing donations. The goal would be to be as self-supporting as possible. We'd like to eventually get to the point where we're having multiple plant sales each year and we have a CSA distribution that's, that's able to provide the majority of um, you know, the, the excess funding that we need that isn't covered. Anyone who's worked on a farm I think knows that there's always something to do, there's always something to improve on. Um, we have all kinds of uh, construction projects, cleanup, planting, harvesting, weeding. Uh, we've always got 50 things going on so we can always use help with it. I think that this is a really amazing volunteer opportunity because not only do you get to be out in nature, work with animals, help them directly, but you're helping a farm that works with adults with developmental disabilities so you know that they are going to benefit from the help that you're putting in too. You, whatever your gift is, you can use it here. And everybody can hold a chicken. Your gift to the Langdon Green Community Farms Vocational Fund means that individuals we support can keep jobs that they love. It helps support our farm workers whose wages are not covered by state and federal funding. We appreciate your generous gift. Even a little goes a long way. Come grow with us at the Langdon Green Community Farm.